Hi everyone, it's a jury. Welcome to my channel if you're new to here. Nice to meet you. Okay, so what did I do today? Today was the day that I I met my counselor. She's my really my favorite counselor and I can only meet her <coughs> one time in a month. And Recently, I I have serious issues, and uh, like uh, I have um, well, I I have uh, I get a really horrible nightmare, and I get uh, almost every day uh, having the same dreams, uh, having the same nightmare, over and over, and it never finished, and. After I woke up uh, from nightmare, because with my cold sweat and my scream, and I felt like it, it just disaster, you know. I can't even explain uh, what kind of feeling. And it's like a real sleety movies, and I was researching about how can I um, avoid. How can I stop having same nightmare every day, every night? I know how to make relax after I woke up from nightmare, but I want to know how can I stop having same nightmare. And but people's advice, I mean, on internet or I even text uh, to uh, one person. He was uh, he was a guy who researched about dreams. He's not doctor, but he's um, he's not doctor or therapist, but he was researcher. I don't know what it's called in English, but he's being um, yeah analyzing or you know anyway about dreams and anyway I need tips I need really good tips from someone and I thought okay this guy is not a slopist this guy is not a doctor but he seems interesting guy so I messaged him and I got replied from him and but he just uh, um, gave me a one link I mean about one article uh, that he wrote and I already did that so you know, typical tips like uh, before you go to sleep, uh, you shouldn't take caffeine. And before you go to sleep, you shouldn't eat sweets. And before you go to sleep, you should avoid scary movies or books. And I already tried, and I know that. And so, hmm. And today I asked advice from her, from and I got advice from her and. Well, she say, um, I trust her, I trust her, whatever she said, it's always light, and I've been taking uh, her counseling, um, wow, almost, almost two years, and I never skipped, even once, even I had a fever, even, uh, I felt so down and I don't want to go anywhere but she she's my only hope in these two years so okay she said because you're in a safe place right now so your brain thinks it's a time that we that we or she or he or I don't know the brain said it's a time to clean your brain it's clean your memories so, but you know, I know, I know, I know. Maybe it's need. Maybe need to clean. But it's so real, and it's so real, and I don't want to see uh, the devil's face. I mean, my mother's face. My 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 mother's face would turn it like devil. I mean, and people. I mean. When I was, uh, you know, uh, in a town, I mean, I was I was born in 
I was born in a really small downtown and everybody know me, you know, everybody knows you, you know. And the people say you look like her. I look like just her. And I don't believe it. I don't believe the shit. I because my face is just me. My and not hers. So anyway. So every night she show up in my nightmares and she keep telling me uh, you're oh, you're whore, you're cold bitch or you're never being good at anything or and I was running away from them and I was screaming and I'm seeking for help and I literally screamed help help somebody help but nobody and when I was at the college, a um, few teacher, uh, actually one teacher, okay, she's Canadian and she's my English teacher in OK, so at college. And she didn't want to get involved with me. And plus, she's racist. She doesn't like Japanese. And she, you know, you know American or Canadian English teacher everywhere and almost and it's weird about the uh, English teacher especially at the college or they don't like staying in Japan they don't, they don't like Japanese they don't like their life in Japan so why did you come here anyway they are always complaining about how Japanese people are bad how Japanese people are sucks how Japanese people are damn not intelligent like them not like them and okay I ne I will never ever forgive this this really horrible cold American teacher okay he was he was 50 and he should be more mature but he often pick point out point out my face and because I I was so depressed and I can't make happy face and he jokes about my face like like uh, I look like uh, stupid or something, and like a goat. You look like a goat. Oh, oh God! Your face, that again. You're really funny. Your face is really funny. And he was laughing about me in front of other classmates, and that was a really horrible memory. And nothing, nothing. It was really. <laughs> okay, I can't believe you know some guys, some people, some women or male, whoever. Uh, no, it doesn't doesn't necessarily the male, you know, female or male, whoever. Some people are much older than me, but still immature, and I can't believe that those racist and immature people. I know Japanese people are also racist too. It's ironic, but I'm not racist. But and especially why I'm speaking in English in almost every videos because I want to correct it to not Japanese people. But I also I want to connect to Japanese people. It's complicated. Okay, here's the reason why I speak in English because you know. Japanese people can be racist to other Asians. Okay, so I'm mixed. Chinese and Japanese. And Japanese people doesn't like Chinese. Japanese people doesn't like Koreans. And I, if I say I'm mixed, I'm also Chinese. My nationality is Japan, so. So, they stop talking me. So that's why I don't talk. I, I mean, I don't say I'm mixed. Basically, I don't say. And after I get to know them and okay, I can trust the person, I say. But I usually don't say I'm mixed because people, Japanese people can be racist to other Asians. And they don't like Chinese. And so. That's so stupid though. That's so stupid. So racism exists everywhere. 
every rear end. And I also I can relate to one character in one book that I met when I was um, when I was twelve or thirteen, and I met I found a book at my library at my junior high school. Okay, she is American girl, and she can't fit the life in America. And she's she's okay. After I got she got home um, from school and she started reading uh, in Germany Germany book Germany book the book um, and she was she wanted to escape to other countries in her brain and she has some fantasy like I'm not staying in America I'm not in the States because she can't accept a life in America and I can I really relate to her because I was always talking about um, something in, in English uh, as as much as I can like at home or you know and so I'm still struggling to find a good side in my country by my country but I don't have parents to go to um, another country I don't have parents to move to another country so I really want to find more good side about my country and I and actually is there are lots of good people <laughs> not not really not really <laughs> some few but almost of them are female not me so but I'm not lesbian I don't have a desire to sleep with men, women and so but recently uh, over 30 or 40 um, Japanese female single ladies they are looking for females because they are already done with Japanese men because they act like a king and they treat us like a slave so we are more smart I mean we are smarter than Japanese men <laughs> and so okay Japanese guy or s guy guy doesn't like my video or my opinion because I'm feminist and whatever people say this is my opinion so if you don't like me that's okay and this is my channel so I say whatever I want to say so if you think I'm sex or I'm stupid or you're or whatever I mean I got those comments and I don't care if I want to say something I will say and don't mind me but you can say your opinion but to me if that opinion is to meaningless to me whatever you know so okay feel free to um thumbs down if you don't like but i will say i will i won't shut up so anyway so yeah i mean 30 or 40 over uh single japanese women are looking for um female and they are not lesbian but they think a life partner um, should be women or the better women are better than men that they think yeah so take it or leave it this is my opinion and